Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a lovely, lovely day. It has been so long since I've spoken to you guys. I cannot remember the last time I vlogged. It was back when it was all Christmassy. Now, I think it's like the 19th of January whilst I'm filming this. So like, this is my first vlog of the new year and we're almost at the end of the Jan at the end of January. So I do apologize about that. But honestly, I, well, first of all, I hope you all had a lovely new year and happy new year. Normally I hate January just because I get really sad when Christmas is over and I feel like the cold, horrible weather isn't nice after Christmas is over. I mean, I didn't enjoy like the rain and stuff when it was Christmas, but I mean, like if it snows b before Christmas or like just around Christmas, you like it, but then after it's Christmas and into January, I just can't be bothered with it. And I'm just like, it's just cold and wet and miserable outside. So yeah, normally I do get the January blues, which I think is very common, um, but I've actually had a very busy January and well, the rest of January is gonna be really busy. So last week on my days off from work, I actually went to London with my mum and my dad. I took them as part of their Christmas present. I surprised them with a trip to London um, because there was this Elvis exhibition on. I think it's still on on until near the end of February so if you're interested it, I think it's still on um, but that was my gift to them for Christmas and we went to London we did some exploring and sightseeing because it had been a while since my mum and dad had been to London I don't know if you remember like my old old vlogs when I was a young teenager and I took my dad to London that was actually our first like time flying that was my first ever flight and then I took my mum to London and that was her first flight as well um but we had actually hadn't all been together so it was nice to go after all those years together and yeah my mum and dad really enjoyed it the exhibition was so good I would highly recommend it I'm sorry but I didn't vlog but only because um like it was a Christmas present to my mum and dad like I say so my main focus was making sure that they had the best time and I know that my dad doesn't like that I vlog and he gets really embarrassed when I vlog so I was like I'm not gonna ruin my Christmas present to him by making him feel awkward and uncomfortable by vlogging so I do apologize about that I did film a little TikTok but knowing me that won't be up till forever because if you follow me on TikTok I'm still posting videos from my holiday back in September, <laughs> my European backpacking trip. So yeah, I'm terrible. I'm trying to get better at it this year but I just find life is so busy. It's like, I just find it so hard to find time to edit those videos but I'm gonna try and get better at it. And then a week today, I actually go to Costa Rica and I'm going for two weeks. It's another backpacking trip. I'm so excited, so nervous, but also very, very excited. So I kind of packed my bag last night because I just got a lot going on and I was like, I'm not gonna have enough time to pack this bag. So I packed it last night after work and it's not completely done. There's still stuff that I need to get and um, add to it and maybe take away from it but I just wanted like it roughly packed so that at least I have something do you know what I mean at least I've made a start sort of thing um but also to add on top of that we're also moving house so like that's what I mean it's just been very very busy but we only found out that we were moving house literally three days ago so like nothing is packed as you can see because like I say we just found out three days ago that we got accepted for the property and I was working all of those three days so today is my first day off that I can actually pack. I've got today and tomorrow off um, that I can pack and then on my next day off I'll be going to Costa Rica and I'll be there for two weeks so literally I only have today and tomorrow to pack this house. Obviously like I want to try and get the majority of it done and just get as much as I can done as possible um, but if I don't get it all done it's n not an issue because Michael can obviously just pack whilst I'm away because it's, it's not the best timing because um, I'm trying to think when I actually viewed this property I have a feeling it was like in November or maybe even October no maybe that's pushing it it was months and months ago that I first viewed the property and it's taken this long to get it so like it's not the best timing because when like we applied for it that long ago we thought oh we'll be like if we get it we'll be moved in before Christmas I didn't think that if we got it we wouldn't find out like until January and then be moving in January when I'm also going away on holiday so if you get what I mean it's kind of not the best timing because we get our keys 
to the property whilst I'm away in Costa Rica. So I basically need to do everything today and tomorrow. So that's fun. <laughs> Sorry that this is such a long and rambly intro, but I just feel like I haven't spoke to you guys in ages and I've got a lot to catch up on. But yeah, you might be wondering why we're moving and it's basically because we really want a house with a garden. We've actually lived in this flat for over two years now, which is crazy, that's passed so quick. And it's like a really lovely flat, it's so big and spacious, and of course I miss it, but we're actually moving to a house and we're gonna have a garden for Harley, and I just cannot wait for him to like have his own space to run around. And also I think it will like do me and Michael the world of good as well to just have somewhere in the summer where we could just sit out and relax and yeah I, I really miss having a garden um and I also really miss having a bath so this house that we're moving to has a garden and a bath which is really good so yeah it's so exciting but it's also a really big change because I'm actually moving out of my hometown I've lived here for 25 and a half years and yeah I am moving out of my hometown which is crazy it's not like too far but it's is obviously further than I've ever made before because I'm my hometown. It's only like over an hour drive away from where my family lives, so it's not too bad. But yeah, I'm excited. I think it's gonna be a good change. But anyways, I need to stop rambling. I think I've caught you up on everything. Um because I need to start packing. By the way, if you see all my clocks around the house at different times. It's because all of them are run out of battery and I haven't even changed the time. So like that one always says it's like 10 past nine and then you'll probably see in the kitchen it always says it's like 20 past 12. So just in case you're wondering like, what the hell? <laughs> so Michael managed to get us some boxes from his work. So we've got, uh, I think like eight there. And then my sister managed to get some boxes from her work as well. So we've got a good start. By the way, I haven't straightened my hair or anything just because Straightening it's actually really damaging it, so I try and leave it naturally, but I know it looks awful, but yeah, please ignore that. Um, yeah, last time that we moved, we actually got so lucky because uh, there was like a shop that was just advertising, giving away like loads of boxes for free. Um, so I looked on Facebook Marketplace again, because I was like, oh, surely someone else who's just moved or whatever will be giving away boxes, but people are actually charging for like broken, like flat packed cardboard boxes, like used ones, like people are wanting like 30 or some or 40 pound for them. And I'm like, sorry, what? And then I looked in Argos and it's like, oh, you can buy a moving pack for like 80 quid. I was like, oh my God. So luckily we managed to get some boxes and then I think Michael's gonna try and get some more because I don't think that will do us. I also just went to Tesco and I got some bubble wrap and parcel tape, but it was so annoying because it was three for two, but there was only two of the bigger ones. So, I had to just take a smaller one for free and then yeah, I got uh, oops, loads of parcel tape as well. So let's make a start. <laughs> Harley, Harley baby, <laughs> you're so cute. Hello, hello, are you gonna have a garden? Are you? Whoa, okay. He just climbed up on me. I'm so excited for Harley to have a garden. That is like the main thing that I'm excited about. He's gonna be so happy. <laughs> Okay, so I have made up all of the boxes that we have at the moment and my aim is to fill all of these boxes today. I want to try and fill what we have space for. Um, so yeah, those ones are quite big and then all of those are basically the same but still I think I'll be able to fit quite a bit in there. So I think I'm going to start with the living room just because it's the easiest room to pack I think just because we only have those ornaments 
and then what's inside that unit and then the rest is furniture so that is a good place to start i think everything off of the fireplace wrapped up all of the ornaments which took me ages like because I individually bubble wrapped them all and then I have emptied all of these which actually had so much in them like I thought I would fit all of this in one box but I did not um so yeah all of that is empty I've taken away the dvd player and stuff and I've already used up two and a half boxes just for that which is crazy uh, so ornaments is in that one and then all of that is like my DVDs, my box sets and then all of this is all of like the electrical stuff that has come out of there. I bought all of the bubble wrap that was in Tesco because all that was left was two big ones and one small one um, but I'm definitely going to need to go somewhere else and get some more because I've already used almost two out of the three that I have um, and I have a lot more ornaments so yeah. I need to venture out in the snow again, which is annoying because it is difficult to drive in. But for now, I'm having lunch. It's been hours and I've done two boxes, which is mad. Um, I've got a chicken and bacon and lettuce sandwich. Then I've got a Daily Milk Duo and an Oasis. I've actually like got a obsession with this drink at the moment i love it it's the it's the summer fruits one and normally with oasis i like the i can't remember what flavor it is but the other one it's like a orange color or like yellow color i normally well i used to like that one the best but now i love this summer fruits one so i moved on to the next room i i'm not going to time lapse everything because then this vlog will literally just be one long time lapse and i'm aware that that would be very boring to watch um, but yeah, like I said, I'm on to our spare bedroom, which is basically the office, um, because this is where I work from. So I'm just wrapping up stuff, um, in bubble wrap. I'm going to need to go to Tesco because <laughs> this is all I have left. And we just have a lot of breakable things and I just don't want to risk anything getting wrecked. Like, I feel like last time we moved, I was pretty careful and still like some things got damaged or scratched. Um, so like this time I just want to be extra careful and just, I'd rather pay for like bubble wrap and a lot of it and my stuff actually make it to the other property in one piece, um, rather than risk it. So I feel like this is what is taking the most time is just bubble wrapping things and it's, it's because I, like I say, I have a lot of ornaments. I just love home furnishings just because I feel like a house doesn't feel like a home without all of the things like just like all these plants and like candles and whatever else I have. Probably once all of these ornaments are out of the way I don't think it will be too difficult. I say that and then I think of the kitchen. I'm actually dreading the kitchen because everything in the kitchen is breakable and is going to need wrapped um, which is a bit of a nightmare but yeah, I feel like I'm not really getting anywhere. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Do you know what time it is? Um, 20 to 9. What? Yeah. I thought you were gonna say like 7 p.m. or something. Oh my god. Yeah, I finished at 7, though. Oh yeah, sorry. I should have quarter past, but. Wow, okay, so it's now almost 9 p.m. I'll show you guys what I've done. Although, since well, I spoke to you like five hours ago, it's really nothing different. It feels like I'm getting nowhere, which is really That's annoying. not true. You've got so much done. Do you think? Yes. Okay. And I think it's because there's so much to go that that's what it's like. 
Moss is bulky stuff though. That yeah. Looks really but anyways, I just wanted to show you guys our dinner. That looks really nice. I'm looking forward to it. Mmm, thanks so much. So it is now the next day. I didn't film anything else last night just because I didn't realise how late it got and the flat was still in such a mess. Like obviously it's gonna be in a mess whilst we're moving, but I mean I was just like in the middle of something and like everything was everywhere. But I'll quickly just show you guys where I'm at. Um I feel like Considering I spent literally all day yesterday doing this, I feel like it doesn't look like much, but I think, like I said, it's just all the individually wrapping stuff in bubble wrap because I want to make sure everything gets there in one piece. So I've just been storing the boxes that are completed in the living room and this is literally it, which doesn't look like a lot. In saying that, I do have a few boxes in the spare bedroom, which are basically completed but I'm leaving open just because it's Michael's stuff and I wasn't sure when I was packing it like what stuff you would need um so I've just left them open just in case I have packed away something that he will need to use so yeah this is how the room is looking I've packed away my record player and all of my records I've emptied like all of the drawers of my desk and I've just kept out the things I need like my phone my phone charger my headphones like my laptop for work and stuff because I obviously I still have like another week of work to do before I go on holiday and then we move um, but I've taken down all of the like artwork and stuff that I had up there and then Michael's side it doesn't look like I've done much but I honestly have because uh, Michael has like a lot of little things um, so for example this unit I completely emptied all of these drawers and shelves. I haven't done the Lego yet just because we've actually run out of cardboard boxes um, so I haven't done that and also it's quite a scary job because I don't want to break anything so I'm not sure if I should leave that to Michael because then if he breaks his Lego he can be mad at himself and not mad at me. <laughs> and then for his desk I've just emptied all of the shelves and then just obviously kept his computer set up because he'll still be using that but I've put away all of the different like ornaments and things that were on his desk um, so yeah, it doesn't look like I've done much, but yeah, those are the boxes down there. And then those are his ornaments, which I've bubble wrapped. Um, but I've left that because more stuff can still fit in that box, so I've left that open. And then this cupboard yesterday, I sorted out so that everything is in a box and ready to move. So literally everything that is in here is boxed and can just be moved or is in a suitcase. Like for example, this suitcase, I've put all of my handbags in there. So now I don't have to box my handbags, so I can just take it in that suitcase. So literally that cupboard is also sorted. I also emptied all of these drawers, bubble wrapped all of the ornaments. But yeah, as I said, we have run out of cardboard boxes, so there's not really much else I can do today until we have cardboard boxes. I also don't have any bubble wrap left either. Um, so I think today is going to be a day where I focus on getting prepared for my holiday um, because whilst I was like sorting out stuff, yesterday I um, came across some stuff that I still need to pack into my suitcase. I don't think this is the best angle because you can see how dirty my mirror is in the background but please just ignore it. But anyways I just wanted to quickly show you guys some travel bits that I've bought recently. So the first one is a travel pillow but I thought this was really cool because it actually folds up and comes in this little bag which is really good um, because obviously it's space saving which we like. So it just rolls up like that and then once it like goes back into shape it's this really nice memory foam um, neck pillow and you can like tighten it as well so like it fits you perfect. There's different little buttons that you can put it into so that it fits nice and snug. So I'm so happy with that because I actually need to get three flights to get there and then it's the same on the way home I need to get three flights back. The next thing that I got that I thought was really cool is a universal travel adapter. Um, I love that it came in this little box. I almost want to keep this box. See this is why I have so much to sort out because I just keep random stuff. But yeah it comes in this little carry case as well which is so good. How good is that? And it's basically a travel adapter that you can use pretty much anywhere I think. So it has like this little bit on the side, I don't know if that's focusing, and like you can put it to 
the US and then you can use it in the US. Uh, it's got the UK and then EU. I thought that was really cool. So you can like plug in stuff or you can use the little USB bits at the bottom, which is so cool. And I just think that is such a genius idea. And I love that it comes with a little travel pouch as well. And then I got these travel soap boxes. By the way, all this is from Amazon. If I remember, I will try and link it down below. Uh, these travel soap boxes because I'm basically trying to travel with only carry-on uh, luggage. So I thought if I bring like shampoo in a bar and like soap in a bar, that will mean I'll have less liquids to take. So I'll have you, basically, you can't take a lot of liquids on the carry-on, so I'm trying to use alternatives. And these little boxes are so good, you can just store your soap in them. Um, so yeah, there's a pack of two in there. This is the bag that I'm taking, by the way. I left the um, tags on because before I packed it, well, basically when I bought it, the man at the till was like, oh, you know you can't take that on carry-on anymore. Like, a lot of airlines don't allow it, it's too big. Um, so I was like, oh really? Because this was the backpack that I really wanted. Um, so I was like, I'll leave the tags on, I'll pack it, and then I'll measure it and see if it fits. And I think that it fits fine. Like, this is me pretty much packed it. Um, it's the Osprey Fairview 40 meter, and I got it in the colour, I think it's called like jungle or something, night jungle or something. Uh, again, I will try and link it down below. But yeah, it's pretty much all packed and I think it's such a good size like I'm so impressed that I managed to fit everything for two weeks in here because I didn't think I was gonna do it gonna be able to do it because I am like I'm not the lightest packer oh wait it says right here the Fairview 40 night jungle blue so yeah I left the tags on because I was like if it doesn't fit then I will have to return it but I think it fits um the size measurements for all of the airlines that I have to go on because I have to go on like three different airlines so yeah, I've checked it and I think it will fit. This backpack is amazing. Like, I will show you guys later everything that I put into this. I'll show you guys what it looks like on, obviously. Imagine if the tags are off. But yeah, I've packed this and it's literally like seven kilograms. I cannot believe that. My last backpacking trip, I brought a huge backpack. That I couldn't even carry it. It was like almost was it 12 or 13 kilograms maybe even more and it was just ridiculous i overpacked so much i've definitely learned my lesson i just what am i doing here yeah i just didn't need all the stuff that i brought so i've learned this time i bought a smaller backpack that fits so nice it's so comfortable it literally feels like i'm just got like a normal size backpack on it's so comfy guys i cannot recommend it enough and it doesn't feel heavy at all when it's on. Like my other backpack, I could not even lift. Like I always had to get someone to help and then put it on my back and it was just ridiculous. So this, oh, it's so worth the money. Like I know everyone has this backpack, like it's so popular on TikTok, but like, I know why. It is so comfortable guys. And amazing the amount that it fits in. Maybe I should just show you now before I have my breakfast. So yeah, these straps actually move up and down so you can move it until it fits and is comfortable. Um, obviously it's got the like hip straps and then also the chest strap as well so it's super comfortable on um, and it like distributes the weight very well. And then this here, these are like con compression straps so it's great because if you think it's too bulky you can literally just compress it all and like push it in so as i say this is pretty much packed i literally just need to buy a pair of sandals and as you can see there's definitely room for some sandals there's actually room here as well um so i'll just show you what i've got um, again, compression straps in the inside as well. Incredible. So this is my first packing cube. Again, these are compression ones I got from Amazon. Again, I'll try and link them down below. Okay, so in this first one is all of my skirts, trousers, shorts, basically just all bottoms. And then here we have my bum bag. Uh, this is going to be my laundry bag. And then this is all of my underwear bikinis 
pajamas, I think. Very squished in there. These are my... Oh no, I thought that was my flip-flops. This is actually my really cool beach towel. It's like a microfiber one. It's such a cool pattern as well. And it's like the nicest material and apparently like no sand sticks to it. And it's just so like compact as well. Like I could even fold that up again if I wanted to. Uh, we've got my sun hat. We have my travel towel. Uh, my... What do you call this? Waterproof jacket. Again, folds up to such a compact size. Then we have my flip-flops and then in this bag we'll also got my sandals actually. And then this big, large uh, packing cube is all of my tops and dresses. I kind of want to go through it again though because I feel like I've still overpacked and I don't need to bring as much as I've brought. Um, so I was just basically roughly packing so that if I was really short for time, at least I had something to take with me. But now I kind of want to go through it and be like, okay, do I really need this? Because I feel like it's, I'm still bringing it way more than what I need. And then I'm also going to bring a tiny little personal sized item. Let me show you that. This here is going to be my personal item, which is the one that goes under my seat. And in here I have all of my electronics, my Kindle my phone will be in there, my headphones, I've also got all of my liquids as well just because I think it's easier because I'll have to take them out for security just to have them in this little backpack uh, which is actually very full <laughs> uh, but it's tiny so it'll be good for whenever I go out on like day trips and day hikes and things like that just to have this little backpack uh, which was from Go Outdoors, I think I got it for like £6, such a bargain <laughs> I took that on my last trip as well and it was actually really useful. It is now the evening, I'm probably going to be going to bed very soon. But yeah, I didn't really film much at all today just because I'm aware that this vlog is filled with time lapses and I think it would just be so boring for you guys to watch. So I actually did out my wardrobe but I didn't film like a time lapse because I think you guys have seen enough of them. Um, but I'm honestly so proud of how much I am putting to charity. Can you see this behind me? This is all going to charity. I have so much clothes and you guys wouldn't know it looking at me because I wear the same items every single day. Like I wear on rotation the same three hoodies or like the same three pairs of leggings. Like I just don't wear any of this clothes. So I'm so glad that I finally gone through it and actually been honest with myself and been like, do I wear this? Will I wear it? And if the answer is no, um, giving it to charity so that someone can actually make use of it, which is just so much better. I have a habit of buying clothes and I'm like, oh, that looks nice, but it's actually not comfortable and I have to be comfortable. I, I just need to be honest with myself. Like, I love living in leggings and hoodies because they're comfortable. If I put on a tight pair of jeans, I'm just gonna end up taking them off and just putting my leggings on. Like, there's just no point in me having any of this clothes. And to be honest, the majority of this actually doesn't fit me. Like, I kept one pair of jeans and I'm putting about six or seven pairs to charity because none of them would go over my butt because I have such a huge ass. Not that you need to know that, but yeah, if anyone else can relate, where do you guys buy your jeans if you have a really big bum? Because no jeans will go over them. I feel like I need custom made jeans because none of them fit me, uh, which is frustrating. Like, like I say, I've kept one pair, but it's just like, it's still a struggle to get over my bum, but at least they fit once they're on, but the other ones, they just would not go over. And the annoying thing is, is that they would actually fit my waist once they're over it. It's just, they can't get over my bum. This is just absolutely mad. I do not need this amount of clothes. And like I say, everything on this bed, I probably haven't worn in the last like five years. It was just taking up space in my wardrobe because I was like, oh, maybe it will fit one day or maybe I will need it on this occasion or maybe I'll, you know, I just, yeah, I just don't need any of this. So I'm going to put that all to charity. I have literally halved my wardrobe, which is crazy. And I only take up one side of it. Um, yeah. Just so glad I got that done. But anyways, I'm gonna end this vlog because I'm aware that it's very, very long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if you enjoy these sort of like sorting out videos and just like me having a catch up with you guys. Thank you so much if you did watch the whole thing because I know it's so long. Um, and I'll see you again in my next vlog. Bye.